Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on custom transitions in Avid Studio. Let's get into it. Alright, so I have my two video clips in the timeline here. And I also have two other video clips in the timeline on this side. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my green screen footage down into the timeline. Now, you can use green screen footage, you can use uh, stock footage. You can use photos, images, you can use whatever you want to do these custom transitions. But if you can find uh, some green screen footage with some movement, like from bestgreenscreens.de or just do a, a search on Google for free green screen footage, you can find something, use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to a position where I'd like it to be because I don't want, of course, the best green screens logo in here. All I want is this nice, beautiful little spaceship. So I'm going to split my clip here, and I'm going to go until the spaceship is out of there, and I'm going to split my clip there. I'm going to get rid of the front end and the back end. I'm going to go ahead and grab this bad boy and scoot him back on over where he belongs. All right. Now I'm going to move this spaceship forward to a position where I feel it's like in the middle of the screen. And I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to grab it right there and I'm going to move this over. Keeping the hand where the split is. To try to get it as close to the middle of these clips as possible. And I think I did a pretty dang good job because when I moved the scrubber to the spot in between these two, you can see that spaceship's right there in the middle. So now I'm going to right click on the spaceship and go to open effects editor. I need to get this green out of here. So I'm going to go to keyers. And I'm going to hit studio chroma key. And it takes the green right on out of there. I'm going to go ahead and change it from solo to media and tracks below. So I can see everything beneath. And I'm going to add the 2D, 3D effect on here. 2D editor advanced. I'm going to change this to no preset. And I'm going to blow the spaceship up to 200 because I want it covering the whole screen when it goes by. And it's right in the middle in between these two clips. I want it covering everything up. Now the next thing I need to do is go ahead and let this bad boy play. I'm going to go to the beginning. But since this is a moving animation, I don't need to do anything except size it up. And then watch the spaceship cruise by and watch the scene change when the spaceship gets through. So now I click OK and let that bad boy render itself out. Now here I got two baseball clips. One of an individual throwing the baseball in slow motion. Thanks to uh, Digital Juice for their royalty free stock footage. And then I have an individual swinging the bat. Once again, kudos to Digital Juice. On the space stuff, I like to give a shout out to Tube Tape. Almost forgot to do that. Great space motion elements for those guys. And now for the baseball, I'm going to use something that I got from uh, my boy, Paul Holtz. This comes from the Holtz Effects Sports Pack. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. I know I don't want this transition to take forever. So I'm going to shorten this up. Just a baseball. It's an actual rotating baseball with a green background that Mr. Holtz made for everyone to enjoy. I'm going to try to get this as close to the middle as possible because I want it pretty even going through everything. 
I think I'm going to ride with that right there. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to right click on this and do the same thing. Except I'm going to do one extra step on this one. So I'm going to open effects editor. I'm going to go to keys. I'm going to go to studio chroma key. Now this baseball is just a rotating baseball. All it does is really rotate. So if I play it. See that bad boy. It just rotates right there by itself. It's kind of cool. You know. I like it. But I want it to rotate and I want it to move across the screen. I want it to be like somebody threw the ball. So first thing I want to do is go to 2D, 3D. And once again, 2D Editor Advanced. I'm going to go to No Preset with this again. I'm going to blow it up so it's covering the whole screen. So 200% on that. Because I don't want to see anything except maybe through these little black portions. You're going to see the scene changing. But in the middle, you'll see nothing changing. And now what I need to do is go to the beginning and I need to add a keyframe. And the keyframe is going to be the position where I want the ball to start. So I need to change the position of the horizontal. I'm going to move it over until it's off the screen. I don't want to go like way off the screen, just far enough to where it's going. And then I'm going to go to the last position on the film and I'm going to move this back the other way to the negative side so that it's off of the screen on the left. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to travel when I play it or when I scrub, you'll see it going the opposite direction across the screen. When I play it, it's going to go this way because the keyframe I made on this end had it off the screen and the next keyframe had it off the screen on that side. So it's going to go across the screen and I get the movement of the transition that I want. So I'm going to click OK. And that's a wrap, baby. We're done. How to make custom transitions in Avid Studio.